Hello everyone, welcome to this presentation. I am here to guide you to the journey of mechatronics. I am Tun Sri Mahanto, Assistant Engineer, Tucson Technology Institute, Bita, Dhaka. So, let's start. These are the outlines of my whole slide. And first of all, I will introduce you that what is mechatronics and uh, next how the word comes and uh, then some definition by famous people and uh, what is mechatronics for us and some key elements of mechatronics and uh, is human body a mechatronics system uh, which we all have and uh, then some mechatronics example and very famous mechatronics example which is a smart home and last of all we will introduce you to robotics so let's start what, it, what is mechatronics a few days ago while I was scrolling in my Facebook page, I found this picture. This is a meme actually, where uh, they introduced mechatronics as mechanics and electronics and an elephant and a penguin. But this is not mechatronics. What is mechatronics then? This is mechatronics. The word comes from a Japanese engineer who is Koki Kuchu. He, of course, gives some uh, example of mechatronics. And uh, here is another famous definition by T. Mori. Uh, which you can show here and uh, these are the some uh, another famous examples uh, a definition by famous people definition was from W. Bolton which was introduction of electronics control engineering and mechanical engineering is mechatronics so we can see that mechatronics is not the combination of mechanics and electronics only here control engineering is a big part last of all one is uh, F. Harshama and uh, M. Tomijuku. We combined a well-known definition for us from this famous people and which is in our world now because uh, this definition was given in 1995 or 1996 but this is 2021 and there are some another definition by famous people and this is mechatronics for us. So what is mechatronics? Mechatronics is the synergistic integration of sensors, actuators, signal conditioning, power electronics, decision and control algorithm and computer hardware and software to manage complexity, uncertainty and communication in engineered systems. So this is only not the combination. This is the synergistic integration. What is synergistic integration? Suppose uh, we want um, uh, in a whole system that we want uh, little of these things, little of these things, but not half of these things and half of these things. Uh, we use which we want in our definition, in our world. These are the some key elements of mechatronics. We can see uh, mecha, uh, if I uh, divide mechatronics, I can get simulation and modeling, automatic control and optimization. And uh, in our mechanical world and uh, electrical system and computer system, see, in our mechanical world or mechanical system, we have some feature. We, uh, we have to get this data, uh, like this table is hard or this weather is cold. How can I get this? I need sensor. I, I uh, need sensor to get data from our mechanical world. Then uh, my uh, I have to communicate my sensor with my controller computer system. So how can I get this data? I uh, this physical world is analog. I know that, and our control system or computer system is digital. So I need an analog to digital converter. And uh, then um, uh, in my uh, control uh, control log. Uh, system um, my calculation is digital and I have to actuate it in our physical world so how can I do this do that um, then I need a, an, a digital to analog converter in my electronic system and then I need the data to get in my mechanical system so this is mechatronics and the human body mechatronic system of course I'm a mechatronic system how I have sensors I have eye, ear, and uh, I have skin uh, by which I can get data from this world. I have control system uh, by which I can generate any data uh, that uh, should I go there or should I keep my hand here or should I keep my hand here. This is my control system. And uh, how can I do that? 
by my actuator. This is my actuator. I have limbs and I have so many parts in my body. So this is a mechatronic system in our human body. There are some examples for mechatronics. Uh, first of one is smart consumer products. Uh, we have home security camera, microwave, oven toaster, dishwater and laundry washer. And uh, in my medical uh, medical system, uh, we know uh, medical technologies. I can use mechatronics a lot. Uh, where, um, uh, I can uh, operate uh, a patient by uh, a mechatronics or a robotics. How? Uh, I can assist a surgeon. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, here in medical system, every system could be mechatronics. If I have quantity of uh, data management, I have control system, I have actuator and uh, perfection, of course, perfection is needed in med medical system uh, a lot. And um, uh, then some automotive uh, system uh, like climate control, anti-lock brake system, uh, which is very useful in automatic vehicle and uh, active suspension, push control, all of this air yeah, yeah. technology, airbags, we know all of this. And uh, second, uh, network centric and distributor system, uh, distributor robotics, tele robotics, and intelligent highway. If we uh, introduce you to a mechatronic system, mechatronics example, this is our smart home. Where I can control the every data of my home by this. I can control this light, I can control this fan, and I can control this AC and everything. And if I am not in my home, I am in my way to office. But I could actually show, uh, see that uh, is my fan is uh, functioning, is my AC is on, or uh, I can off my AC with my smartphone or with, if I use mechatronics in the high level, this data or this decision could take automatically by my control system. Okay. Then this is robotics. Okay, we know there is a huge uh, similarities between robotics and mechatronics. Yes, robotics is a mechatronic system, and this is the high level of mechatronics where uh, a robot, like a human body, which we call humanoid robot. This humanoid robot could sense the world, could decide by himself, and could actuate in this physical world like a human, and day by day we'll get a perfect humanoid robot, which is our dreams as a mechatronics engineer. Thank you all for being with me.